Hey guys, welcome back to another arty adventure. So this time me and Ryan went to Brighton um, and I thought I'd draw what we got up to um, and I'd film little bits and pieces and share them with you. So the first thing I'm drawing are these macaroons that we saw in this um, little cafe. Um, it was a really cute place um, and we bought a couple of them and they were really nice. <laughs> um, but I just think they're really pretty and I really like the colours so I thought, you know, I'd sketch them out. Um, so I'm using an erasable coloured pencil and I'm going to use Windsor and Newton inks um, with Primsa colour pencils to colour them in. I'm really getting into using inks um, and I really love using them. Um, I don't know why, I just love the vibrancy and the bright colours and they're just so fun to put onto the paper. Um, and I am getting the hang of them now. Um, I haven't been using them for very long but I'm definitely enjoying them, using them more and more every time I try them out. One of the things that I've noticed is that all the inks tend to be quite close in colour, like one pink and one purple will be um, very similar to each other. Um, which is a shame because I definitely think there could have been a wider spread of colours. Or maybe it's just because I don't have enough um, in my collection, but yeah, I wish that some of the pinks were a little bit different from each other. I think overall this ended up coming out quite pink, but I'm still really happy with it. Um, but I think I might have possibly chucked in a yellow there um, if I could redo it. Really zoomed in at me right now. For this piece, I wanted to do something quite different. Um, so on the pier, I noticed there were lots of different lines um, and from like the barriers and the structure and I thought it'd be really interesting to um, just use one color and use a dark brown to um, you know draw the lines and color it in and just really focus on the structure of the pier. Um, I did want to include some colour, which is why I then um, did the, um, you know, the bright Brighton Pier Palace sign um, in colour, um, just to make it really pop and stand out, um, but to keep it quite simple um, as well by not adding too many colours and too much, um, just too many distractions. I don't draw a lot of buildings so it was really fun to sketch out um, a building um, and really try something new um, with this technique.
Scott Thurman from Golf in History. So to finish the day, me and Ryan went to play mini golf at this place called Globals, which has loads of glow in the dark things like glow in the dark dinosaurs, skeletons. Um, yeah, and I just really like the bold colours of it. Uh, and I thought it'd be interesting to draw a dinosaur inspired by the golf course. I'm using Winsor & Newton drawing inks and Prismacolor pencils to colour in the dinosaur like I did with macaroons. I really wanted to have the vibrancy um, of the golf course captured so I made sure to use the brightest inks I could find. <laughs> 